Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. So my name is Kristen and I am sister number two from SixSistersStuff.com. Now I share a lot of instant pot recipes so I took a little toll on the community tab to see what you guys would want and at least half of you asked for keto recipes. So I thought I would share with you some of my favorites. Now I've actually hadn't done a lot of keto recipes so my husband and I decided to do keto for a little bit and just so, so I could get a feel of the recipes, what ingredients you should use, which ones you shouldn't. So I feel like I'm a little more prepared to teach you how to make these keto recipes. So let's get started. Today is butter chicken and this one is my favorite. So. Let's get started. So I'm first gonna push the saute button. We're gonna start heating up the pot. Then I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of olive oil, just drizzle it on the bottom. We gotta start cooking up some vegetables. So we're gonna add in one onion, just minced small. So while the onion's in there, we're just gonna add about, I don't know, a teaspoon or so, maybe two teaspoons of garlic. And then we got four tablespoons of butter that I'm just gonna just throw in there. There we go. And then just we're gonna mix this all together. So we're just gonna mix this around for about five minutes or so until the onions, you know, get that lovely fragrant smell and are cooked a little bit. Okay, so once your onions are cooked pretty good, we're gonna go ahead and add about two pounds of chicken breast. Now I cut these up into bite-sized pieces. They're gonna cook a lot faster that way. And I really like the chicken when it's cut instead of when it's, you know, you put the whole thing in and then you have to shred it. I, for this recipe, I like them in chunks. All right, so we're gonna mix this around a little bit. Get that chicken all heated up. Okay, so while that's sitting there, we're gonna go ahead and add one can of Hunt's tomato sauce. Okay, so if you look at the nutrition facts, there's only four carbs for about a fourth of a cup and that's all you're eating. So it really doesn't have a ton of carbs in it. So that's why we're keeping it keto friendly. All right, we're just gonna add that whole thing in. Now while this is going, we're just gonna add two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then we're just gonna mix this, mix this up a little bit. So next we have something called red curry paste and this stuff makes your dish absolutely delicious. So, so we're gonna put two tablespoons of this in there. And I am just eyeballing a little cause this is my teaspoon, but it's kind of a small, small opening there. Okay, mix that around. So next we're gonna do two teaspoons of gram, gram, gram marsala, marsal. I don't know, however you think you pronounce this, put down in the comments for me because I'm struggling. All right, this is good stuff though. Whatever, however you pronounce it or wherever you're from, how you pronounce it, it's good. So we're gonna do two teaspoons of that. Then we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of ginger. Mix that up a little bit. I like this because as you're adding stuff, you're, you're still on saute, so your chicken is starting to cook, which will make the pressure cook time go a lot faster. Okay, mix that in a little bit. So next we're gonna add some smoked paprika. I love smoked, that's probably one of my most favorite spices. We're gonna add about just a half a teaspoon of this, so we're gonna use the other side of this. Now if you haven't seen these, these are these magnetic uh, teaspoons. They are my favorite because they just stick all together and they have double teaspoon on them. So I'll link those down below for you guys. I love them. All right, mixing that up. And then our last thing is we just need to add a little bit of salt. So we're just gonna put that in. So it's about a teaspoon or so of salt. I like to eyeball my salt. And if you need more after, you can go ahead and add more after. Okay, so with this recipe, if you are using a Lux that doesn't have a burn notice, you are good to go now. You can put the pressure, um, put the lid on, but because I'm using a Duo, it's going to burn on the bottom. There's just not enough liquid. So I'm gonna add about three-fourths cup of water into it just so we can have enough liquid so it will pressurize. Okay, so I'm gonna push cancel right now. Just we wanna stop that sauteing going on. And we're gonna add about, oh, I did about a cup of water. So we need to have liquid in there. So I kind of just put it, mix things around so it's on the bottom, because we don't want to see the burn notice today. All right, we're just gonna put this to the side. Now we're ready to put the lid on and we'll get cooking. 
Okay, once your lid is on, we're gonna turn this little knob to sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna put the pressure cook button and go up to seven minutes. Now, once you set the timer, you can go ahead and just walk away. All right, so our butter chicken is all done. So it's been releasing on its own for about five minutes. That's exactly where we want it. So now, now we're just gonna turn the little knob to venting. Okay, now that all the pressure's out, we can open the lid. Everything's all cooked. Okay, now it's pretty liquidy because I added that water, but we didn't get the burn notice, which is good. So we're actually gonna turn it to the saute button right now. So you're gonna push cancel and then saute, and we're gonna get rid of some of that water. We're also gonna add about a half a cup of cream just cause we gotta make it creamy. That's the f my favorite part of this dish. Nice and creamy. So we're gonna mix it up really good and then just let it saute just to get a little bit thicker. So just keep mixing, make sure you scrape the bottom as the saute is going so it doesn't burn on the bottom um, and it will just take a few minutes to get rid of that extra liquid. So I would usually put this recipe over rice but because we wanna make it keto friendly, I would put it over cauliflower rice. That stuff is my favorite, you can get some huge large bags of it at Costco or even like the little freezer ones. I don't mind the freezer ones that you stick in your microwave, but I do like it better if it is sauteed on the stove top or something like that. It makes it taste a little bit better. So cauliflower rice and then your buttered chicken and it's a perfect keto recipe. All right, so once you're done, I just like to put a little bit of cilantro on top, making it taste amazing. And there you go, simple, easy, keto recipes. Now, if you want more easy recipes, make sure to watch that video right there, and I will see you guys next week.